All right, hello everybody. My name is Dalton Rullinger, and welcome back to Sailwind. Um, since the previous episode, I have made one major change, which I'm very glad such a thing actually existed. Um, yeah, you'll notice that there's not like a percentage usage underneath the lanterns anymore. Yeah, I went ahead and installed the unlimited usage for lanterns. Um, if I can remember, I'll put the link to the mod down in the description below. Um, it, it's a very handy mod. Uh, you can get it off the Discord if you think you'd like to play with it. Um, a couple things I need to do before I actually uh, depart or even take up any more missions is... First off, I need to refill my water, and since I can just do this here without having to ref uh, dig into my ship supplies, I might as well. And I also want to buy a lot of these things. Because I want to see if they are worth more at other ports. Because I, I saw some other guy do this. Admittedly, it, it's a very old video, but I did see another guy do this. And they brought in a pretty decent penny uh, by the looks of it. I mean, if nothing else... I can use them whenever I'm in a pickle or whatever, but, um, yeah, I just want to do some testing here and see if these are actually going to be worth anything at other ports. So, um, let's go ahead and start loading up the ship, see if there's anything that we can trade. It's been a day or two since, uh, I actually last checked the prices. Doesn't look like a lot has changed, does it? Ugh. There's like nothing here. Yeah, I don't think we're going to be taking anything from here by the looks of it. Uh, we can always take... Some missions to Newport. Yeah, there's a lot of things going to Newport. So let's go ahead and we'll take a lot of these missions. Oh my good god. Okay, uh, this is probably going to take me a moment, so I'll just cut me out, like, loading up all this stuff. So give me a moment, guys. All right, I got the ship all loaded up. Um, I got the lightest load up here at the very front. I've got the barrels, even though it's a uh, odd number. I've got them at least somewhat evenly distributed. Probably put you like more towards the center of the rear. Um, I've got the T um, here, 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 and. I thought there was five tea boxes. Am I missing one? Not by the looks of it. Okay, maybe I just miscounted. Um, doesn't look like I'm missing anything, so let's just go ahead and depart. The wind is... I'm going to keep looking up there for quite some time, by the way, just out of habit. Uh, the wind is blowing... Not terribly in our favor, but it could be worse. Go ahead and get uh, launched off here. Now, which one controls what? Now that it's actually daytime, I can kind of see what's going on here. Okay, that controls that. I think you control... Yeah, you control the main mast. Which is fine by me, which means you control how the wind hits. Okay. I think what might actually be the best idea is raise this thing up just just a little bit. We want to, we want it to catch at least some wind. OK. 
Okay. Then we'll lower this. And then we'll lower this just a little bit as well. And hopefully that'll do something. Okay, maybe not. What if we just lower the rear sail? I think we've got some movement. Or maybe not. Oh. Leaving these docks is always kind of weird. Here we go. You know, another really cool addition to the game could be like additional flags you could put up. like on the masts and stuff. facing directly into the wind. Which is less than ideal. I guess I'll just have to get out and push the boat. <laughs> There we go. Now we're making progress. Obviously, we don't want to get we don't want to get too close to the shore. <clears throat> So, yeah, now that I know how to install mods uh, to this game, let me know if there's any, like, must-have mods that I should be aware about. Let's go ahead and start fishing as well. Right, I feel like that's... Yeah, there we go. I mean, if the main sail's gonna be like that, then I probably want that sail to be like that as well. Okay, and then... Looks like I got a bite.
fish is a ways out there. <laughs> now, for mods, I don't want anything like too game breaking. I don't want the game to be too easy. But maybe something to just kind of make the game just slightly easier. You know, some improvements on life kind of things. Like the uh, the lantern mod. This way I'm not having to constantly buy lanterns or anything like that. Speaking of which, whenever I get this next fish in, I should probably turn all the lanterns on. Now that there's not really a reason to, to not have them on. Especially at night time. There we go. And with this mod installed, this also means that I can start decorating the ship like crazy with lanterns if I so desire to. Which I'm not, I'm not gonna lie, I kinda do. Actually, wait, 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 wait. Let's go ahead and turn on all the lanterns. You turned on. You turned on. You turned on. You and you. 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 And then you. All right. Ship is lit up like a goddamn Christmas tree. I think it'd probably also be a good idea to have some lanterns, maybe like along here. In here. Just to kind of put some more light towards the middle. Yeah, I, I really like this. Now I can have the ship all nice and lit up. You guys can be you guys can see what's going on. I like it. I like it a lot. Kudos to the mod author. I keep Pressing the, the C key, the third person camera, so I can actually see the flag up at the top of the mast. The ship is not like that, Dalton. It's not like that in, at all in the slightest. Yeah, like I said in the previous episode, there's going to be a lot of bad habits I have to break. This thing, it freaking moves, too. Like, it's it's not slow by any means. Uh, just, just, to, just imagine, like, if you were a new player and you're coming out here to, for, like, your very first time and you just see another player has got, like, their ship all nice and lit up like this. I think that'd be so freaking cool. It, it would really inspire you to to try and grind up to the to the big ship as quickly as possible. Then maybe you could like flash your lights to communicate to each other. There's just so many things that could, that you could do. Now, in real life, ships are actually kept as dark as possible. Um, there's, like, a few really bright lights that they shine, like, really high up above the bridge uh, during night times, just so they can communicate with other ships. I'm loving this. This is really cool. 
I don't have to worry about these things ever burning out, like, ever again. <laughs> What's it look like from the front, by the way? Ooh, I like it. I really do like that. Hang on, hang on, hang on, hang on, hang on. Let's... That, where's, where's, where... Damn waves. So if I'm down like this... Oh, nice. I feel like these are more or less the way I would want them. This one could probably do with being like a little bit further out. Maybe something like that. Just ah, oh, it's so cool. Now, I'm just going to continue living off my cork, since I've only got so many of them left. But yeah, also somebody told me, oh, you can. You can zoom in with, uh, with the telescope. I thought it was like a set thing. Okay. Stay, stay, no. There we go. This should definitely make your guys' lives a little bit easier. <laughs> uh, and even like standing out like at a port or something. Like say you're like docked at Newport, you're just starting your very first uh, voyage or whatever. And then you see this thing pull into dock and dock like right in front of you. It's got all the lights, or you just see it passing by out at sea. That'd be so freaking cool. Yeah, I think I definitely need to get some lights for... Um the middle of the ship, like here, here, and maybe here, so maybe another six lanterns or something. Or I could put lanterns like going along the, uh, the outside of the ship. Got all kinds of crazy ideas here. Actually, that's not quite done yet. So angry. And yeah, there's not too many, there's not going to be too many cuts in this video. Because I, I feel like you guys deserve to see, like, the entire voyage. What I want to do is I want to hit up, like, all these uh, islands at least once, uh, a few more times with this thing, you know, giving it, like, its first official test run and whatnot. Making sure I actually like it okay. And then we'll start heading out to Alanka.
and I need to remember to grab some tea because tea is apparently really valuable over there. I feel like these should be done. I guess they are. Okay. Why did I eat that? That that was a waste. What the heck? Oh well. Guess I could go ahead and just top up on my water. Yeah, another thing I need to do before we head up to Alonka is I need to stock up on rum rather than water because rum makes you tired, therefore it makes you sleep a lot, a lot faster. Therefore, you can travel more distance uh, a lot quicker. So I might be uh, playing Captain Jack Sparrow here before too long and rather than having water with me I probably still have like one or two barrels of water just to be on the safe side but yeah probably be living off rum for the most part and let's go ahead and start fishing some more Another mod that I did kind of have my eye on was uh, like an easier fishing mod. It basically makes it to where the, the pole never breaks. Or the fish never escapes and you never lose a hook. Which, I don't know. I Like, the lanterns are one thing, but never losing a hook is... I feel like that's kind of cheating in many ways. Like, yeah, it's kind of annoying, but... I can definitely deal with it. tired too. Um, might be better, well, I might still be too far out. I was thinking maybe I could drop anchor and Is that? No, nah, I thought that was an eel. Dang it. It's another tuna. It's another hook. Just go no, that's a salmon. Okay. I thought it was a salmon at first, but... It was not. It might be better for me to just kind of get up like right next to the island where the water's going to be shallower and drop anchor or then sleep. I don't know if I can make it to port without passing out. The ship is fast, but I don't know if it's quite that fast. <laughs> Which would be nice if I could get another, another bite. <laughs> Oh, actually, there's port right there. Okay. I think what I'm going to do 
I'm gonna go ahead and raise up the front sail and the rear sail, and we'll just use the main sail to bring us in. I kind of feel like that's how the ship should operate, but I have no idea. I ultimately have no idea. Let's go ahead and raise you up. Get you into the neutral position. There we go. And I think... You can be maybe more like that. It might be better if we just start raising you up, because we're not that far away from the docks. I'll raise you up to about there. Bring you in like this. Here we go. This looks to be more accurate to what I'm needing. Look at this. <laughs> Screenshot. Okay, and let's go ahead and go to bed real quick. I'll cut this out. It's morning. I didn't quite recover all of my fatigue, but we're close enough, I think. Go ahead and start unloading all of this stuff. Ugh. Ugh. Come here. Rum. So to answer Jack Sparrow's question, this is exactly why the rum is always gone. Because it's always being sold. <laughs> Tea? Typically I cut this stuff out, but I want to see you guys, I want to make sure you guys see what the game is actually like sometimes, whenever, especially for anybody who's just buying the game now. Um, because there's not like an auto unload feature or anything like that. It'd be nice, but 
as of the making of this video. No such thing exists. Stay. I said stay. And last but not least, green tobacco. Okay, so let's do a little recap. And why do, why does things why do things like not stay stacked on top of each other. It's kind of annoying. I go through all the trouble of um, stacking things and nothing stays stacked. Okay, so we got four tea. We got five medicine. One green tobacco. And five rum. That should be everything. Uh, good night. Please. Fine. There we go. Yep. Julio. So that brings me up to just over five thousand gold. things first. Oh, actually, I should probably check out the, uh, the prices here for these things. See if they're actually worth selling anywhere. No. Okay, I bought these for like 83 or something. So I'm going to have to keep that in mind. For anybody who's curious, these things actually wake, uh, awaken you. Like, they uh, they restore your fatigue and whatnot. So they're kind of like uh, super, duper, super duper coffee. Alright, so I'm going to do some exploring for a couple minutes. I'm going to run some errands, and I'll see you guys back in a moment. Yeah, I think I've done most of what I can actually do here. Um, I was hoping some more lights would respawn, but nope. And, yeah, I've already gone through, like, almost a grand. <laughs> I am so irresponsible when it comes to money. Uh, so let's take a little look-see at the trading market, shall we? Okay, so, uh, Coconuts to Dragon Cliffs isn't that bad. In fact, it's actually kind of worth taking. Uh, if nothing else pops up. Water, rum, eh. Copper? Copper would be worth taking a closer look at. I can't afford iron. What about sculptures? Uh, those are six grand. Um, yeah, by the way, I did take a sculpture uh, to the Dragon Cliffs in the Cog. I'm not doing that again. <laughs> I will say that. I am not doing that again. Green tobacco. No. Okay. So it looks like copper is going to be what we take here. 
Let's get the copper for the, uh, the receipt for that. How much money do we have left? 321. Can I afford any salmon? I can afford one. Uh, coconuts. I thought it was salmon, but no, it's coconuts. I cannot afford coconuts. Eh, yeah, screw it. I mean, an additional 10 coins is an additional 10 coins, so screw it. <laughs> okay, um... I'll put the salmon up here. That's not how I would like you to be. I'm very OCD-oriented whenever it comes to this kind of stuff. There we go. And then, I only have eight coins to my name, which is kind of terrifying. But we should make a pretty decent profit at the end of this. So just to make sure the weight is actually, you know, properly distributed. Oh, I was going to try and, like... put it under here, but apparently the game does not want me to do that. Fine. Be that way, game. See if I care. Um, What's the wind doing? The wind is blowing in a that way -ish sort of direction. Which is fine. Just to have an easier time, I'm just going to launch the boat off like this. Ah, come on. Really? Come on, game. Don't don't do this to me. Ugh. What are you doing, game? Here we go. You know what, I'm just going to go ahead and use one of these things. Okay, um... Let's get you kind of angled. Just a little bit.
cool. Yeah, I bought just a few more lights. I only had three available, so I'm still missing one, but hopefully now the side of the ship should be very well illuminated at night. It'd be nice if there was a blue lantern, actually. I think a blue lantern would actually be really nice. the dragon cliffs off in the distance. I, I cannot get over how easy this thing turns. This thing turns easier than most cars. I kind of feel like this isn't quite right. Come here, little fishy. Come here. I reel this fish in and put it on the stove. I'll uh, play around with the sails a little bit and see what um, I can do to improve the speed here. I think I've got them like angled too much. That's basically what's going on here. Again, it took another fishing hook. Okay, I'm just gonna deploy the fishing hook like that. And then, um, I'm gonna try and do something along these lines. I think I see what the problem is. Or, yeah, here we go. That's what the problem is. Nope, that's, that's the wrong thing. I think as the wind is now, I can probably... Bring these in just a little bit. Just a tiny, tiny little bit. There. 
that there. And then about there-ish. I think that's going to be about as good as I can get. Roughly, anyway. Alright, well, I'm going to go ahead and catch some Z's, and I'll see you guys back in a moment. Alright, let's see what we got. Dragon Cliffs are still a ways off. The wind is... I think it should be good enough. I could probably bring the ma the mainsail in just a tiny bit, though. About there-ish, I would say, is probably good enough. Oh, yeah, look how illuminated the ship is now, with those two lights in the middle. Still need to get one more for there, but, uh, yeah. The ship should definitely be visible from, from quite a good little distance. I'm loving the fact I can just turn these on just infinitely now. Uh, I never started my, my stove. This is when this game is at its best. Calm seas. You know exactly where you are. Your resources are pretty much full. What is that? That's part of the scroll, isn't it? <laughs> okay. I'm going to bring this back just a tiny bit. You just another tiny little bit, and then you just another tiny little bit. Judging by the way the wind's blowing, I think that should pick up just a little bit more speed. Okay, well, since we are approaching 50 minutes, I am going to cut out here, and I will see you guys whenever we, get, whenever we get closer to the Dragon Clips. Well, the weather's turning a little bit crappy, but we're almost to the Dragon Clips. It'd be a lot easier to see if it wasn't for all the splashing up front, but, yeah. Actually, it'd probably be best if I just uh, grab this and, you know. You really can't see anything, can you? That's less than ideal, but yeah, you can just kind of make out the entryway thing up there. 
do not leave me behind. That was uncalled for, Miss Mrs. Shit. I have spotted one slight problem with, with this ship, is you can't really see straight ahead too well, can you? You kinda gotta go in at just a slight angle. Also, I'd like to point out that I really enjoy how the rain doesn't come through the roof of the ship, even though in games like the Elder Scrolls, vanilla at least, uh, rain and snow does just come through the roof. It, it's kind of annoying, really. I never actually bothered to make sure all this stuff was getting cooked. <laughs> I was too busy watching videos on YouTube as I was sailing along. I think we'll go ahead and start raising you up. Yeah, do you have any suggestions about, like, how I raise up the sails whenever we're approaching port? Uh, feel free to let me know. I, I think... The way I'm doing it now is probably the way it would be done. But I have basically no real experience with the ship at all whatsoever. means we can just raise up the main sail once we are ready to. I'm going to go ahead and bring you in just a little bit more. You gotta make up for all the lost speed with the other sails uh, raised up. That's the wrong thing. I might actually just head for the shipyard so I can clean this thing. I don't think it really needs to be cleaned too badly yet, but I have to keep this thing in tip-top condition considering it's brand new to me. Okay, let's go ahead and start raising up the main sail. Oh yeah, look at that. Beautiful, just just beautiful docking skills right there. Yeah, yeah. Be easier if it wasn't for this crane in the way. Well, 
I don't really have much money to my name right now. We'll be fixing that in the morning. Where the heck is the... There it is. Oh yeah, I, I definitely saw some change there. She needed a bath, that's for dang sure. Um... I think that, that'll be good enough. Uh, let's go ahead and just sleep throughout the remainder of the night. And I'll see you guys in the morning. Okay, good morning, everybody. First things first. Let's get everything unloaded here. these just because it's an OCD thing some people will never know the struggle there and the coconuts or the salmon excuse me First off, let's sell the copper. You. That brings me up to, yeah, 6300. 6330. I feel like I got a bit more there. I think the price has changed while I was out at sea. Now, the real question, will these things bring in any more money? No, they will not. Okay. So, I would say these were a waste of money, but they really weren't. They can come in handy in a pickle. So, while we're here, I do have some shopping that I need to do. Uh, but I think that is going to wrap it up for now. I'm going to buy this fish first. Put these things on the stove. Profits. Green tobacco. Oh! Green tobacco to meat for, huh? Guess we did just come back from meat for, but I mean, 330 is 330. Oh, I think I know what we're going to be doing in the next episode, ladies and gentlemen. But for now. Uh, that's going to be it from me. Hope you guys enjoyed. If you did, please leave a like, leave a comment. And uh, if you're new to the channel and you want to see more, please consider subscribing. Because I will have more on the way very, very soon indeed. But until next time, ladies and gentlemen, that'll be it for me. Uh, so, see you next time. Bye-bye.